No more trouble tonight. <laughs> no more trouble tonight. Um, let me just finish my applesauce going on a date in a little bit, but I actually told him I want to hang with you instead. My second time ever on TikTok. This is so fun, my second time ever here. It's fun to be on TikTok. I can't believe I didn't try this before, but I'm just having a little bit of applesauce. Um, and then I'm getting picked up for a date and I want to answer your questions. So go ahead. Hey, goddess, Monica. So I wanna answer your questions. I'm just having a snack because I went on a really long hike and I don't wanna eat until eight o'clock when Cooney's bringing food. That was fun. So tonight is our usual, and this is the number one thing that I recommend for couples datings. <gasps> Miss Risley, goddess, your tips worked. He gave me the spending money. <laughs> so did you sit on his lap and touch his leg? And what did you say? <laughs> That's great, goddess. So anyways, tonight, um, what to do if he jokes about you paying for dinner? Here's what I would say. Here's what I'd say. He's like, oh, um, you want to split this halfway? I'll be like, you want to split? And he's like testing you and putting by putting it as a joke. And he says, hey, like, you want to go? Want to go 50-50 on this? You want to split it? <laughs> and you have to maintain eye contact while you say this. Miss Risley said, I touched his arm and I pulled the daddy card and he just said, whatever you want, darling. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what else is he going to say when a, a, a nice woman asks him nicely? This is men, this is what they want to do. He's a man. He wants you to have everything that you want so that you can just love him better. <gasps> Miss Rosie said, I said self-care like you said. This is probably a genius way to get spending money. Just say that I need to pamper myself. <laughs> just say that I need to pamper myself or I need some self-care. And I think that would be the best reason for, for any man to give a woman money. Tap a comment to pin. Moderators can do this. Did you delete the video you uploaded? I did delete one. Yeah, you, somebody commented and was like, this is just not giving. And I was like, well, I just wanted to show like a couple of highlights from my first live ever last night. But um, I don't know if it was giving like not authentic, then I just took it down. Um, I wanted to tell you about something. Sorry, was I talking about a question or? Oh, yes, sorry. Um, what to say if he says, let's go half and half with paying? That's what I was talking about. Um, let's see. Hold on, what was the question? Sorry. I don't know why I was nervous. As a woman, I'm deserving, but that mindset can be difficult. You have to convince. <laughs> Oh my gosh, M Kills on Instagram. Did you get banned because we were calling him Sinky? I think it was someone in the comments. I don't know what got us that offense. I thought we were fine. And Nishahaya is Kuni paying the rent already. He said October 15th. So I actually just paid it yesterday. It was October 1st. Oh yes, hey Honeycup, thank you so much. This is like the ADHD brain, how it works. What to do if he jokes about you paying for dinner? Thank you so much. Okay, um, so in this case, you would say, um, <laughs> you would look him in the eye across the table and you would be giggling and like kind of laugh, but like still have strong posture. And <laughs> you would then say, he goes, you wanna go half and half? And you can say, sure. 
Yeah. Yeah, we can go half and half. I'll pay the whole thing. Actually, I'll pay the whole thing. And then later tonight, I'll smack your ass and call you daddy. See how you like it. So no, not half, I'll pay the whole thing. And then I will smack your ass and call you daddy later. See how you like it. What do you think of that? Oh, user 257777432222. Oh my God, my angel number. How come you don't practice what you preach by leaving after three months if no investment via rent? God is, I guess a big part of this is because I know that I am not taking this super seriously anyways. So I also, number one, he's completely aligned with my core values. Not saying that I'm settling, but if he's given me after three months a plan to pay my rent in October 15th, then are you really going to leave a man because they can't cover the rent for two weeks? or three or four weeks in between a time period. Exactly what Miss Frizzly said. You said you'd be up, open to other investors anyways. Yeah, exactly. Um, like nothing in my life has changed, right? Nothing in my life has changed. So it almost is like, if this is not harming me and it's helping me, the only thing I, oh, I wanted to tell you, we had an, a little conflict the other night about, um, <clears throat> sorry, I wanted to tell you this. I wanted to tell you this story. Let me know if it's lagging. How do you respond to men who are insecure? Said H. Nicole E. W. Um, I don't, well, if you're attracting a man who's insecure, the number one thing that you have to say is, huh, what is insecure in myself still? Is it my brain? Is it my body or is it my heart personality? What am I actually insecure about in myself? Oh my God, we love Liz. Hi doll. I call my dad doll. Him not, okay, user 25577. Yes, him not being able to provide the rent in those two weeks isn't in line with your provider approach. No, you're completely right. And here, this is what I wanted to tell you. This is something I want to tell you. I actually came up with this the other day. You must always pin your offers against each other. When interviewing men, when dating, when interviewing candidates, and when accepting a, an offer, you must always pin your offers against each other and use it to negotiate to get a better offer from other men. Leverage. Donald Trump, his book, The Art of the Deal, says never make deals without leverage. So we have to work backward, goddess. Oh my gosh, that's my cat, Hope. You love it? <laughs> I actually found her in, in January. I found her outside. She's a goddess, right? And usually I don't put the cat food um, like at level with like where people eat because obviously like the cat is gray, but she's not a human goddess. Um, <laughs> says like the 18 year vegetarian. Um, but the thing is, I actually was watching my little sister's dog um, on Saturday because my little sister and her man, her semi investor uh, went to Vegas together. Hey goddess, happy, um, what's tonight? Happy Tuesday. I'm going uh, on a date. He's coming at eight uh, with the food. And then we're going to, um, and then we're, oh, and then, yeah. And then we're dancing actually. Sorry, let me catch up with the comments. I love you goddesses. Shay, you're later. What if the man only gives it to you when you ask? Goddess, this is exactly, okay. This is exactly like my situation too. Cooney has never been with a man. Sorry, I hope not. Cooney has never been with a woman who asks him to pay her rent or to pay her bills. It's always his spending so far with women has been let, uh, let it be my own idea. 
right? So he's not a sponsor of the woman. He's like a, a voluntary. Like sometimes you get gifts if I feel like it, if I'm in the mood, but nothing consistent. Okay, so that's something that I have realized about him. But he's only 33. He always he 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 told me that he has always seen has, himself as somebody who wants to give his partner everything, and he's always seen himself as someone who a partner um, should not have to work. So he has never been with somebody who actually demands financial stuff covered, financial investment. I'm the first. So number one, it takes time to train a man. But you can't just leave right at the three month mark if your rent isn't being paid. If number one, he doesn't have the money. Number two, if he has never done this for anyone before and he really needs your guidance. And number three, um, yeah, this is a really hard, I wouldn't say it's a hard type of man to find. It's a hard type of woman to find. Someone who will actually give a crap about herself and want to keep herself young and want the man to worry about the money. And that's what I was actually gonna tell you about Cooney and I's uh, argument the other night. Um, he loves arguing, by the way. Uh, I mean, I guess it keeps it fresh. We don't, we're not the type who like argue all the time, but I, it, there's something called a feminine, a divine feminine keeping a man in integrity. The, the number one thing that <laughs> Cooney has also noticed about me is that, um, yeah, I, I hold him to his word. So I actually inspire him. Ins I inspire him to be trained to keep his word. So that's, I hold a man to integrity. I don't nag him. Um, I don't yell. I don't let it ruin my day if he's not as successful as I want him to be in life. I would leave somebody who had no plan of action to pay my rent by October 15th. But when you have somebody who says, I know what you want. I know that you're breaking your standards for me. I know that you're making me an exception. And I know that you, you know, I want to do this for you when I can. And I'm expecting uh, some bonuses to be paid out by October 15th. And at that point, five, 10 K won't be, uh, he said it won't even be a worry. Well, at that point, are you really going to leave this man who has shown that he's trainable? He has shown that he's trainable. He's shown you that he's, that you're his game changer. He has shown you that he's willing to do what it takes. And you're going to really leave a man like that over three weeks. What's going to change in my life? Three grand. I mean, I just paid it. I just paid it on um, like October 3rd. So what's gonna change? $3,000 to have it be the last 3,000 I ever pay of my own rent? Sounds good to me. To me, that's worth a couple of weeks of leeway time. Would anyone have left? If you would have left, say left. If you would have stayed, stay, say stayed. And I already told him, this is not you giving up your exclusivity either. I told him I need it when he asked at three months and I said, I need at least uh, one more month to really figure out if I want to be committed right now. When you, here's what happens this year, like the last three men or like, I guess it would be like the last four men, sorry, the last five men, but to, uh, let's just compromise and say four, the last four men who have come into my life and reflected to me who I actually am, they have all been the ones whose idea it is for commitment. It has not been my idea for commitment. Men do want to lock women down, <laughs> but only a certain kind. That's the freaking kicker. That was the crazy part for me. I never knew that commitment could be a man's idea. And what do you think of this song, by the way? Hot or not? Let me tell you what it is. Do you recognize it? Okay, let's see if you recognize the movie it's from. Who will be first? With Love Liz says, Love Daddy Trump. I'm just catching up on the comments on TikTok now. User, you say a man wants the daughter in you or the mother, but how come you prefer to be parented but say your man loves you for your motherly body? <gasps> yes, that's a genius question. Some things are subconscious and some things are conscious. 
In my case, I actually tell uh, Cooney that I want to be babysat and I want to be parented. How do you make a deal with leverage? Pink stars 007, I, I loved your previous video on how to ask men if they were not used to women asking them for stuff. So another question that I said to him is, I said, how many serious relationships have you had? And I said, are you not used to women asking you for stuff? Because you don't seem to offer. <laughs> That's what I said. Sorry, I'm direct. That's what I said. I said, I know that, you know, I'm only 27 and you're only 33. And I said, how many serious relationships have you had? And he was like, and I was like, well, let me answer that myself to like, while you think about it. So I immediately, I gave him space and I like took it off and started talking about myself. Oh, what I wanted to tell you, sorry, I'm not cut off in the comments at all, but what I wanted to tell you is that, okay, here is an exercise that's gonna be in my workshop, so I probably shouldn't be talking about it here, but here, okay, so the, in my profile is the link to the wait list for the workshop, workshop and the group coaching. So let me tell you something that I realized today that I'm putting in the workshop and the digital coaching session. This is also in the, which is in the bundle. So the, think of three things that are true about your exes. Do the last three exes write the, write the three things that they had in common. This gets so deep. So if you're here now, this is actually in the, this is actually in my digital coaching session that I'm about to launch. Number one for me, and it, oh my God, this, I hope that your information and your truth matches mine because that would be so freaking amazing if you were able to like understand some of your trauma right now and then start healing it. Okay, think of your last three exes, the last three people that you took seriously, or uh, this could also be like the last three people you were in a relationship with. Pick your three significant last uh, significant relationships. I feel so bad, I should catch up on the comments, but I just get on these tangents and I have to tell you about this. This is literally in my digital coaching session. This is part of the pre-work that I have you do. Okay, one of the exercises. So we have our last three relationships that we're choosing to analyze. What are three things about those three relationships that were consistent, that were a pattern? Let me go first. All three of these exes had this in common. They were financially successful, physically attractive, and guess the third. This is so sick. <laughs> guess the third thing that they all had in common. <coughs> They were all financially successful, physically attractive, and three, they were all emotionally unavailable. It's just true. And so part two, of this exercise and why this affects you and why this matters for you and why relationships can be a mirror to you <laughs> is because guess what? <laughs> when I realized what all three of my exes have in common, I realized that that's all true for me too. And the three things my exes all have in common are that they're financially successful, physically attractive, and emotionally unavailable. And that's a hundred percent true for me. That's why that matters. Tell me what they had in common. Tell me what they had in common. Let me catch up on that. Tell me what they had in common means show me what your problems are. Let me catch up on the comment. 
Does he like the idea of paying your rent? He said whatever I want. My guy is 32. Does he watch your TikToks? Fuck no. <laughs> How to make it the norm that men need to offer if they don't ask only food offers? Goddess, you we're not normalizing it. We're training them. We're not normalizing it with him. We're creating it. We're inspiring it from him. I have so many videos about training a man. You don't just train men. You train men to be inspired. Okay? How to make it the norm that men offer us things. They don't ask just food offers. Guess what? The first stage in normalizing him offering is teaching him what you actually like and what makes you happy and what self-care activities you like to do and what stores you shop at. On the first date, when he asks you where you want to go, you should tell him where you actually want to go and it should be the most expensive place that you can think of. Because if on the first date you go to a Chili's, he is going to assume that Chili's is your standard. So why not start off, <coughs> why not start off at Nobu? <coughs> Wouldn't he want to parent and protect you instead of bargaining when rent should be paid? That would be my type. With love, Liz, divine feminine testing. Yes. Is that your rent? Rather than taking fully care of you, spending grocery living. He doesn't even know what my bills are at this point. He feeds her all the time. Stayed, stayed, stayed. <laughs> Wait till October 15th, that's it. You're left because a man who's bargaining the roof on your head isn't worthy. Rent has a deadline and so should be. I want from, Kelsey Adams says, I left. I say from experience of being with a man where you do not have to ask for anything. I mean, that's the idea, Goddess, but you have to train him to understand what your, your bills are first. Or they, how will they know what to offer you? Do we agree? How will he know what to offer you unless you train him first? Tell me that you understand the concept of training him to be inspired. He has to be inspired, but he has to know what you like. Have you ever tried to get your mom a Christmas gift? How do you get a gift for the woman that has everything? Well, she has trained you, thankfully, in the years of knowing her. She's trained you to be inspired because she has shared with you what she likes. My mom might, likes animals, musicals, uh, comfy robes. She likes uh, our dogs. She likes rescuing birds at my high school. We inspire men to be trained so that they know what gifts to give us and then they can become the man who offers. Men aren't born offering, especially when you're the first woman in the generation of his life to get spoiled. Where did you meet him? I've answered that so many times, but bio, bio s cha cha. Thank you for your question. Where did I meet him? I actually met him at the dancing place in a social dancing lesson. And we go there every week still. If you hadn't had that 3K, you'd be homeless. And he would say 15 October. Don't do that. Zero 050. I love the song. How do I talk to cute girl after class? What? You must just do it. You must talk to her. You must go after what you want. If you're a man, you have to go after what you want in life. Because now women are also believing this. Men and women, we go after what we want. Everyone should. Everyone should, but we're just going through this collective awakening of some people are starting to realize they want to change their lives and some people don't. Some people don't even realize their childhood trauma. And that's what I'm trying to help you with. So I'm still catching up on comments here on TikTok, but let me get let me get to the part where you told me if you have your three things for the three three last relationships that you had. Eyeshadow is fabulous. Really? I can actually go get it really quick. It's a, a Laura Mercier. It's actually, it's like a pen. Sorry, it's like a crayon. Imagine the crayon and you just, you just draw it on. So I have two colors on. There's like a highlighter white color and then there's like the shadow brown color and then I just put the white color on like the brow as well. He's improved and cares about his scent. Yes, Croc Monsieur, exactly. He is working overtime to um, 
to get <laughs> to get he's trying different different colognes. He has tried three different deodorants. He now has a prescription strength deodorant. Pillow Princess Brat Girl, I'm in my computer communications class until 10, but I was watching you with my AirPods on LMAO. Oh my god, goddess! I used to love computer class. That is so cute. I love us. Rock the AirPods. Cashly ATX, same sister. Love you guys. Kyla Noel, your makeup. Oh my God, does anyone else not like wearing foundation? So remember me last night? I was like, I don't think I need to wear foundation anymore. And, um, but tonight, because for me it creases. See? I mean, it just creases. Okay, my ex didn't offer to pay for anything for me. Allie! Oh my God, it says Allie Nicole 951. Stop. Are you from 951? That's the zip code of my hometown. <gasps> Allie, Nicole, and Allie is the name of my dog who passed in April. Muscles, six feet tall, confident. <clears throat> my type was always Vin Diesel. Bald, um, like physically attractive, like very athletic. Here we go, Miss Frizzly. We're talking about the three things our exes had in common, what they can teach us about us. So physically attractive, mommy's boy is thinking of the third. <gasps> mommy's boy. Miss Frizzly, are you a mommy's girl or a daddy's girl? Rudels was like bald. <laughs> Emotionally immature lets me pay for more than 50%. Doesn't reciprocate emotional labor by M. Kovac122. <gasps> okay. We, so this, mean, this, this means that this is a lesson for you to feel more, to be able to get more empowered. Start asserting your boundaries. Uh, literally, um, make sure that you have boundaries. This is this person and this maltreatment is here for a lesson to show you what you need to heal. And some areas are really good. You're strong in them. Some areas you're weak in them. If someone is mistreating you like this, it just means that you have a huge opportunity to still heal and build some boundaries that actually serve you in life. Okay, Pratika... Pakare on Instagram says, please suggest me as to how to be really comfortable and on the receiving end and not feel guilty. I was an alpha in my past relationships. I find it kind of difficult to do so. Goddesses, well, I'm convinced we don't even know what alpha means. We don't even need to know what it means. Let's just make sure it's not us <laughs> in the future. Okay, everyone here, raise your hand. Okay, this is a really good... Um, I want you to vote if it's true or not true. Raise your hand if uh, you are a reformed masculine goddess. <laughs> Were you really masculine and actually called yourself the alpha in the relationship? Because I used to think that that was cute. Let me just raise the hand or can you do a hand down? I don't know. Thumbs down if you've never been masculine. You've always been the receiver. Do <coughs> the hand raise <laughs> emoji. If you have thought it's cute to be the alpha or the masculine. Pratika, how to get really comfortable receiving and not feel guilty. Goddess, abundance is your birthright. Even the, the Bible says that God's riches are for his children. And that's what we are. Abundance is your birthright. <clears throat> Grab the bag. The riches that God left for his children here on earth who worship him and believe in him. That's who God's riches are for. Jordan, my best friend, she's like, do you single girl? Expensive doesn't mean good. Expensive doesn't mean valuable. Miss Frizzly, how come Shay says never do dinner for a first date, only coffee? First of all, she's right. And I actually used to disagree and say, I'm worth more than a $5 coffee date. I don't need to be interviewed. That used to be me. That's what I would say. But she's right. Um, why should they get more of our time when they're not... We don't even know if they are worth two-hour dinner. We can't meet somebody for no reason and, and give them the benefit of assuming that they're worth two hours of your time. That's not even normal. It starts with coffee. It's an interview. It starts with coffee. It's an interview. Okay, that's... 
That's my stance on Shay's uh, no coffee as the first date rule. It's an interview. It's not a dinner. Oh my god, hey Miss Lily J on Instagram. Pillow Princess Brat. I used to say I wore the pants. <gasps> and you bought the makeup. Oh my god, goddess. I'm glad that you found it because I am not good at like makeup stuff. Um, I couldn't care less about this stuff. Um, I wouldn't have been able to tell you what it's called. I would just have to show you and then Cashly ATX on Instagram says, I met a guy at the mall last night. He says he wants to win me over since he mentioned I'm already seeing someone. Not official though. Green or red flag? Frick yes, he's honest. He, I'm sorry that we are not used to honest people. I mean, when when that guy, when Ali, remember that guy named Ali who came up to me last month at Ralph's? Remember what I said to him? Remember what I said to him? Watch me make the best beverage. All you need is sparkling water and protein shake. 30 grams of protein, 160 calories. I cannot even. Win me over. Um, first of all, sorry, Cashly ATX on Instagram. I think that was a test of, I think he wanted you to ask for clarity and say, wait, you want to win me over even though you're already seeing, one of you is seeing someone, it's no different. It's always a test of morals and ethics. So anyways, the first step is, this is the best beverage ever, and it's like uh, exactly 160 calories. So you put ice in the shaker, if you want to know what I'm always drinking. Oh my god, it looks like I'm lactating. It's hot. So then you put the ice in there, and I love these like straws. And then you put the sparkling water in it. This is a really, really good beverage. I'm gonna go like half. And then this, you get it at Costco, goddess. Look at this lactation. You get this at Costco. If you like those protein drinks, try Nutriment, so yummy. Kyla, let me know what brand and stuff and what flavor. And what is your favorite flavor? This one is vanilla. I'm obviously a chocoholic. <coughs> I probably would prefer more like cookies and cream, but you know what's my real favorite is peanut butter. What's better? What's better, goddess? Peanut butter, co uh, cookies and cream, or chocolate or vanilla? What's better? Okay, so step two. Please remind me where we were. So then we take the beverage and we put it in the beverage. Ooh. Oh my god, I poured just enough! This is actually a new thing I'm trying. And did you know that today is actually day one of a um, weight loss goal for myself? This is day one. Look how look at my uh, look how many steps I have. It's seven o'clock. I have eighteen. <laughs> 18.7k steps. Wow, it says I've already already been burned 3,300 calories. I went on a two-hour hike. And goddess, let me go ahead and catch up on the comments. Um, but let me ask you something while I'm thinking about it. Does anyone have special lighting? Because I just transformed my bedroom with by changing the lighting. I was so over like yellow light. It's like Oh, it's just not giving. Now, I have red, I have bright blue. Imagine your bedroom, but only in red light. Would you be down? Put a red light. Oh my God, that is so good. Yes, it's sparkling coffee. Or not coffee, it's sparkling... Um, Protein and it's like it's basically like milky like water. So I'm having it instead of having coffee because with the coffee I have way too much cream I have like 300 calories worth of cream in my coffee and I just drink it all day like iced iced decaf I don't drink decaf in over a year way over a year So <coughs> it's just something better to have than water 
something nice to drink all day. Kyla Noel Carter on Instagram said they have vanilla, strawberry, banana, and chocolate. <gasps> Ooh, always vanilla, but chocolate's good. Interesting. Okay, let me catch up on this. <sighs> Do you think you're called Chanel number five has the same ingredients as toilet bowl cleaner? Expensive means nothing. It's all about values. <gasps> Wow, that was literally deep. <laughs> Courage three zero. Instagram is bugging, but I'm back here. Oh my god, I love you guys. <gasps> yes, I love that my best friend is talking in the chat. Oh my god, I just saw that she invited me to go live. Sorry, I'm so behind in the comments. Hold on. With love, Liz. I want to learn to train my man to be inspired. <gasps> Kelsey Autumn. I didn't have to train him. I just told him I wanted a provider, and he was one. Yes, because you attract who you are. If you really believe that you are worthy and the type of person who was going to have a provider, then you will <laughs> guarantee the 3d has no choice, <clears throat> but to create and manifest in real life. Your physical surroundings have no choice, but to reflect what you've said is true about yourself. So I started saying a couple of months ago that men pay for everything and multiple men. Remember how I had that viral video and I said, there are many men who would fight for the opportunity to pay my bills. Remember when I did that? I wasn't, I mean, I was living that life at that point, but that's only because I started talking that way a month or two before. I mean, I've always been like this. I've always been the type who's like, pick me up in a limo. Um, men aren't the love the kitty such a cute cat hey queens do you single girl my best friend approach dating from a heart-centered place you will get more of what you want yeah i mean i approach it from like a cash-centered place but i that's because i have a big heart my mom is used to being poor and selfless she was never able to explore what she likes <gasps> oh my god i'm screenshotting that that is a savage ass truth and it's just true it's just true your cat is stunning. I had a first date that was at a cafe getting hot cocoa. He decided to take me to the nail salon. <gasps> Crop monster. Right after without asking. Stop. Goddess. Miss Frizzly, I never wear foundation. Try cream makeup. It doesn't crease. Oh my God. With love, Liz. I remember DMing you about this like months ago. Oh, Del Violet. Or sorry, Del Vedette. I only wear sunscreen and tinted sunscreen snow. Have you made sure this man's family will accept you? <coughs> Use your 25777. You are a literal savage. You're like a savage. I feel like we're friends in real life. <laughs> Hi, my niece, Hope. I'm a daddy's girl. I have a mothering personality. Don't let her on the counter. If he sees you as a mother, it'll be hard for him to see you as a lover. Yes. Thank you. I never called myself the alpha, but I worked since I was a teen and had money and traveled. Men seemed beneath me, and when I changed, the masculine men came out. Why hasn't your father found you a good, respectful man as a Christian daughter? Um, my dad lives in Boise, and I was actually just talking to my best friend today about, should I move to Boise and have him reparent me? If you want to do a coffee, do it, do it, but you can have a five-star dinner early. Can we see your car, cat? Muscle milk vanilla, you're in Miami. If she ever comes, let's get dinner or drinks together. Oh yes, this is like a full on movement. Cookies and cream, strawberry only, cookies and cream. Drink Celsius if you aren't already. I lost weight without doing anything. Croc man sewer. You know why I think Celsius would be really good for me? Is because from being vegetarian, I actually had a B12 deficiency some years ago. Uh, Kellyanne Baker. I've gone on two dates with a guy. I have a crush on him. He said he wants to spoil me. Gift giving is his love language. How do I ask him to buy me things when it feels weird and new? If he hasn't done it already, you have to, you can beat him to it. And don't start with something small since you're the one asking. Start with something medium. I would go $300 or up. Queen Emerald Neurots. I have multicolored lights behind my headboard. It's great. Pumpkin spice too. <gasps> Tori Palmar, I put those exact protein shakes right in my coffee instead of creamer. I swear we all live the same life. Like the way that the algorithms work, I would not be surprised if you were also eating a perfect bar today. I would not be surprised if you were actually eating a perfect bar today or if you have them three times a week. 
I have it for dessert every night. Go perfect bar. They're the refrigerated protein bars. And they have a low glycemic index. So they're like fat, carbs, and protein is all almost the same amount of grams. And so it's it's supposed to like have like fiber and stuff. 20 fat, 24 carb, 15 protein. And it says low glycemic index foods digest slowly to keep you fuller longer. <coughs> um, it's so bad for your teeth though. Should you make friends pay for dinner or you offer male? Male friends should always pay. <laughs> See Nanny Morales, I've heard so much about those bar. Oh my God, they are really good. And they're very satiating too. Say la vie, share the life. Thanks goddess. Oh my God, with love Liz. I did. <laughs> I forgot that I said that. I date from a cash centered place because I have a big heart. Needs to be on a merch shirt. Northern shows, are you satire because I love you? I don't know why everyone says that. I'm just being myself. That brand seemed so healthy. You sure? It takes a sip. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really sell it. <clears throat> Grace and Bloom, you're amazing. Inspire me constantly. Thank you, goddess. Ask me your questions. I'm catching up on the messages right now. Celsius to bad for your health. Oh. Mm. Oh my god. <clears throat> Mosey, you're going to think I'm lying, but I have those vanilla shakes from Costco in my fridge right now, too. No, I believe it. M. Kovacs, I'm about to turn 28. I feel so behind the dating game since I just got out of a long relationship. Any tips on getting back in the game? Oh, my gosh. First of all, I only use dating apps to practice your skills. Don't use dating apps to fill your weekend. <coughs> Northern Shows, I'm 32, just met my high quality man last year. He already bought me a house and now I'm engaged. <gasps> Share the story. Kelsey Autumn, me too, babe, this Feb, where did you get engaged? <gasps> I love you goddesses, oh my gosh. Okay, so yes, Kyla Noel on Instagram. What do you mean by reparent? I'm definitely, I'm definitely living at home, getting life lessons from my mom. Yes, reparenting yourself is what I mean is I don't I didn't have anyone in my life other than my father who were like, get out of bed, go to the gym, do your homework, clean your um, clean your room, don't eat that. <laughs> Eat better, go to sleep, stop staying up late, stop playing on the computer all night, get off your phone, get your elbows off the table. See Nanny Morales on Instagram. I've just followed you, but I don't remember why I followed you. I'm enjoying this live. I, I just went live for the first time last night. And guess what? <laughs> Somehow I got reported for hate speech because we were talking about like ethnicities of my boyfriends and um, <laughs> and then it said that I couldn't get back on TikTok live until the 10 and then I appealed it overnight and at 10 a.m. this morning it said appeal decision made you're back Sorry for the inconvenience. And I'm like, thank God, because I'm ready to be battling Spencer Pratt on TikTok Live. Kyla, you should do energy routines. Very helpful when you feel like don't don't feel like doing anything. Okay, tell us more about that. Tell us about an energy routine. And you want to show us on live? I can <clears throat> Hey Chris, they're haters. Who's haters? So anyways, goddess, I'm actually caught up on the comments now. If you have a question, you can throw it in the chat right now. Right now, it's 7.13. Cooney is coming at 8 with the meal before we go dancing. So I want to answer your questions if I can now. Um, Madison Diederich. If gift giving is my love language, how do I ask my successful man I'm dating for a gift? Well, I'm glad you asked that like that. The first thing I would do, what out? 
Look at who came to see us. Look who came to see us. It's the kitten ski. He had some water. She has water on her mouth. She doesn't like being held. And so I try to give her a lot of space. <laughs> hey, Isla Cox. Yeah, it's my first time going live after last night. This is my second time going live. It's today. Northern shows advice on making solid female friendships at 20, at 28 plus. Oh my gosh. You know what's the best thing to do? I will actually tell you and thank you for asking. I, I'm going to actually put this in my guide. Guess how much the guide is going to be, by the way, when it launches. You're sleeping. Oh, she's purring. Lena May, does does Cooney watch your TikToks? Um, no, he's not allowed. I told him that because I have so much dating advice. Oh, I told him that since I have so much dating advice and I have all the keys to my heart on my TikTok, that <laughs> that. I don't want a man I'm dating to see the TikTok because then I won't know if he ever won over my heart or if he just got the cheat codes on TikTok. And he's like, no, I want to win you over authentically. Lena May, does he know what you do for a living? Yes, he knows all about TikTok and everything. He just knows he can't really watch it. I show him some of the ones, though, if they're not about him. And then, curious if you've ever accepted... Mosey B3, curious if you would ever accept or promote an engagement ring that was a moist, moist night versus a diamond. I don't have a strong opinion about this shit. If it matters to you, it matters to you. Some people, my grandpa, who lives in Las Vegas, <laughs> got me a fake Louis Vuitton purse. And still to this day, I have never, uh, I have never brought it, brought it up. Some things just don't matter to people. Other things do. If it really matters to you about authenticity, then, you know, don't do Moi tonight. Do Diamond Ring. Uh, Yoshi, Yoshi Shiloh IL21. Serious question. If he's paying for everything, what's your role? What do you offer? I cannot. Only people who are from where I'm from ask that question. They would never ask that in another, in another country. Lena May, you should block him so he never sees this stuff. No, he's literally not allowed to look. And he knows it. And he's like, I was like, are you curious? He's like, not really. I really know what you're all about. I deal with you every day. Spicy Habib T. Hey, girl. Oh, my God. I love how we have literally come up together in TikTok. <laughs> Pick a niche queen. We need to all do that this week. Um, okay. It says, ooh, C. Nanny Morales on Instagram says, how can I connect better with my feminine energy? I feel like my male energy is much stronger. Sure, goddess, and it might be. And we just, what we need to uh, figure out how to do is how to make them both strong because you have to know when to use which one and you have to develop the skills in yourself that serve you. It's just something that we have to do as women. We have to be selfish in this way. We must understand what skills are needed to be able to serve us properly in, in life's events. If your masculine energy is underdeveloped and you have a hard time getting things done because you're so free and creative all the time and you lack structure, then the, uh, just say that then. That you need to develop your energies to be just as strong. The point is destruction. The point is that your life serves you. The point is that you have the skills that you need. I love you. I love you. <laughs> love it. How did you meet your partner? <laughs> Oh my God, Lena May, since you got fired from your traditional job, do you actually make enough money to, on TikTok to pay your rent? Here's what I'll say about this. Um, money, it doesn't make me uncomfortable to talk about money because money is the most real thing in the world. There's, it's not emotional, it's logical, it's factual. 
I want to do that fired for. Um, I would say that on one hand, I got fired because they said that I needed to be more organized and take more ownership. And on the other hand, I say I got fired because I literally prayed to God for that. <laughs> I literally prayed to God about, I'm so burnt out. I'm not doing my purpose. I want to do TikTok full time. I want to make content. I want to build my business. I want to live my purpose. So getting fired June 6th from my corporate marketing job, it was my stomach was like, my heart was beating really fast and my stomach was like in knots on that call when my boss was like acting like it's a normal one-on-one -on -one. and then HR pops on the call like five minutes late, no announcement. So Jacqueline, actually, we wanted to meet because why didn't you just quit? So if you quit, you don't get unemployment. And I think if you're leaving a job full time to live off of savings and pursue your true purpose in life and help women, then you need to put yourself in a, in a good situation. If I had gotten super burnt out, I would have quit, even if that meant that I didn't get like 10 grand in unemployment money over the, over the quarter. I would have quit if I was truly unhappy, but I was already doing both businesses. I already had my one-on-one -on -one coaching going on. Why didn't you quit? Cassie, Lenore, Isabel, your job didn't deserve you. You're on your true path. Oh yeah. Shayla three, God and the universe will bless you in so many ways for leaving. Exactly. I got on LinkedIn just to flirt with like the daddies. Um, definitely not to like look for roles. <laughs> and let me say, I was actually very surprised to see how scandalous the married men on LinkedIn are. The C-suite of men who you would think they, they understand that they're married and they're not going to risk it. I would actually think that that was a lot higher than it was. But I would say that the men on LinkedIn are buck wild and they're married and they will flirt with you. I mean, I was a tech recruiter in 2017 and like I have, you know, I mean, I think all women have experienced this. You end up getting receipts of stuff that men have said to you. Oh, and then you're like, wait, aren't you married? Aren't you the public face of this company? I wanted to say something about jewelry. So on September 9th, uh, my little sister and I, we went to my grandma's birthday at Bayside in Newport. My little sister and I go to the bathroom. Okay. She's 25. My little sister and I go to the bathroom and she's and she's the one who works me out. She's a personal trainer. So we go to the bathroom and she was like, your jewelry, she's like, it's giving old vibes. Your jewelry is giving grandma vibes. She's like, I can't with you. I cannot with your pearls. Okay, I haven't taken these pearls off in like two years. I wear them in the shower and everything. So I think that they're real. And that was the funny part is because Jenny was like, it looks like, she was like, it looks like, um, she's like, it looks like costume jewelry, like cheap vibes. <laughs> and so I was like, okay. And then I also was wearing like this gold chain and that was actually real gold. Like my grandma who passed actually, you know, my great, my grandpa gave it to me and it was my grandma's. So here's my little sister in the bathroom telling me that my pearls look old vibes my neck, my gold chain looks old vibes like costume jewelry and it just doesn't look good. And my band for the TikTok, I'm oh, sorry, for the Fitbit, she was like, I just can't even believe that you wear the band for the, um, the Fitbit when you're out. She's like, wear that when you're working out. But the fact that you wear a TikTok to a restaurant I'm going to need to vote on this because to me, that's so my brand. If I don't wear my Fitbit to a dinner date, that is 100% who I am. Is functional, and I was going to say functional but fashion, but it's not. I don't even, I've never ever cared about fashion in my life. And Cooney was like t joking the other day, and, um, oh, because one of my TikTok followers actually recognized us. 
Oh, we were paddle boarding in Newport over the weekend. And this was like, oh my gosh, this was like the first experience of like uh, someone recognizing me out who follows me on TikTok, like a neighbor in Newport. And she was like, hey, goddess. <coughs> she was literally in a boat with a guy driving the boat, driving by us. And me and Cooney are standing on like the stand up paddle boards. I'm standing, he's sitting on his. It was a little bit embarrassing. And she drives by in the boat and she's like, hey goddess. And I look at her and I'm like, hey goddess. And um, Cooney's like watching this whole thing. And it's the first time that we've ever been like recognized out and about. By the way, goddess, I'm caught up on the comments here now on TikTok. So if you have a question, this is a perfect time to do it. Thank you, Flora's mama. I'm obsessed with your mindset. Always killing it. You are so sweet. It's a mindset. That's the thing. It's like I try to figure out like what I'm actually teaching, what message I really want to share. It's literally a mindset. It's an avatar. It's a persona. It's a belief. It's called the law of belief. A lot of people don't talk about this because quantumly it has the same as law of, assum uh, law of assumption and law of attraction. But Jenny is telling me that this Fitbit um, doesn't look normal to wear out on dates. And so you should actually, <clears throat> you should actually get like a decorative fashion band. And so that's what I did, goddess. So anyways, I simplified it. So now, instead of wearing rings on both hands, I, I decided I'm only going to wear jewelry on one side. So ideally, like, these would actually be moved to that side. But I just put them on because... So C. Natty Morales on Instagram says, do you believe in manifesting? A hundred percent. But I believe that as long as it's Christian-based, not witch talk vibes... Sorry. <coughs> What are you going to wear dancing, says user 5792. So right now, let me know if you can see it. So it is actually a bodysuit. And then I put like, to cover my bra straps right here, I put um, like this shirt. And it's like kind of open in the back. It's kind of open in the back and like it ties. So it's like straight up a bodysuit. And then for the shoes, I'm actually wearing um, red boots. So I'll take a I'll take a video in the mirror before we go. The boots are, are actually country boots, and I I'm wearing them to help me spin better. How long? Oh, M Kovacs. How long do you date a guy before getting a ring? Doctor Laura says two <coughs> full seasons, two full holiday seasons, two rotations around the sun. Doctor Laura says two years. The Wild Dahlia, what ended up happening with him paying your rent? Yeah, goddess, thank you for your question. So we discussed it, I shared my standard, and I also told, I pinned my offers against me. I told him that every other man in my life has also done that for me. And this is what I expect, and I only date men who can. And I said to him, what's weird about it is that it was my idea. And he's like, no, it's not your idea. Merlin, I have a similar message to share. I do vlogs, but I want to do more talking videos. <clears throat> F the vlogs and the voiceovers. Just go live. <coughs> Let pe sh allow people to show you what they need from you. Sips and moments. How do you feel like trying to be the daughter of a man with a daughter? Uh, I think that he probably understands how emotional women really are. Merlene, how do you come up with topics? So that's one thing that I don't do is write down stuff to talk about because this is my human design type. Have you ever heard of human design? So you can just Google it. Everyone has one. It's different. It's basically like a way of understanding people. My human design is called manifesting generator. So my ideas, imagine that like they come from like your sacral chakra. <clears throat> imagine you have all these chakras, right? My ideas 
literally come from like, I would say like my, my belly or my uterus. They don't come from my mind. When I have an idea, I really feel an idea. And it, it's, it means that you're a manifesting generator. Cute, what kind of place is it? Club or a lounge? The clothing colors and you are harmonic. What do you do to be so confident? Oh, goddess, I just trained myself to be inspired. <laughs> I just trained myself to be delusional. See Nanny Morales, solar plexus for me on Instagram. Wait, your ideas come from your solar plexus? Okay, tell us how many chakras there are and which one is that? Is that the fourth out of, no, is that the third out of the fifth? <coughs> I... Yeah, Lena May. I live in San Diego and I just want to come dress you. Yes, goddess. I hate fashion. I will accept any and all help in this area for sure. Um, I am so... Oh, Lena May was like, do you 420? Uh, I'll just be honest and say yes. And I don't drink. Uh, I, I never have. And I don't recommend that women should. But I would say that the... The other one is better. See now, you, oh sorry, on Instagram, a man I, Brie, a man I just started dating said he wants to spoil me. I generally have a crush on him, but I'm not used to receiving gifts. How do I ask him to buy me things I want when it's new to me and feels weird? It shouldn't feel weird. You were born to receive. You were born to receive, right? I mean, how do you think that people get pregnant? You were born to receive. So the first thing is, I don't even understand how, I don't even understand how you realized that you're, like, I don't even understand how you attracted someone who wants to buy you stuff if you're not a good receiver. First of all, that one escapes me. It usually doesn't happen unless God is, like, being really easy on you and trying to, like, literally send you someone so that you can work on your ability to receive. But where does this lack of self-worth come from? We can do a little hot seat, love seat thing if you're still in the Instagram chat. But why, where does that even come from? Stacy Spencer, a sugar D bought me a house. It's paid off. He bought me a Porsche cash. cash. What is next? Please help. Stacy Spencer, that's amazing, first of all. And I would love to hear how you met him and what your secrets are. So first you have a house, it's paid off. Now he has a port now you have a Porsche cash. What is next? Please help. I would say have him get you into like crypto investing. <laughs> That's truly what I would do because I can't think of any because my my investor Cooney works in the um my investor Cooney works in like he trades tokens for a living. Like he uh, creates the algorithm that automatically trade or sell stocks, but instead of selling stocks, he sells tokens. <coughs> Sorry, he trades tokens on the stock market. Stacey Spencer, been with him seven years, and it looks like they met on SA. Goddess, that's impressive, because I didn't have that kind of like really good experience on SA, but I guess they are few and far between. Um, is he a lawyer? That'd be cool. That was like my one experience. Been with him in seven years. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I would have him fund your dream startup. Stacy Spencer, I mean, is there something that you feel like is a purpose for you that you have been called to do? <laughs> Lena May. So, um, <laughs> Stace is on uh, IG. And then Lena May on TikTok is like, Stacy, what's next is daddy buys me a house or a car. <laughs> I think Lena May said it for all the women here what we were actually thinking. Ooh, Stacey Spencer. He's old though, 70 now. Oh my God, I respect you even more. <laughs> I don't ever want to work. Okay, perfect. I don't, <clears throat> I don't think it's about working. I think it's about having something that you've created. I mean, if you really don't have a desire to have something that you've created, I would ask, what are your core needs? Just so I can kind of like help direct this fortune that you have. If you don't ever want to work. Um, oh, yeah. Logan. Logan on Instagram. Which crypto do you recommend? Um, the only one that he... I cannot give stock of that, obviously. But the only one that Cooney told me about, it was something to do with monkeys. 
Del Videt, how did you feel comfortable on SA? Um, it was like, I don't know, because your first time on it, you have no idea what to expect. And then, or like, how does this stuff work? I got banned on there too. Hold on. Illumination. My fiance and I are long distance and he's not been wanting to talk to me lately. Goddess, that makes my heart hurt. I don't understand why adults do long distance or virtual relationships. Is this a temporary thing about the long distance? It's okay. I mean, I'm sure you're not, we're not here to talk shit, but I just don't. I want you to have somebody in person that you can deal with every day who lives in your neighborhood, who's physically there for you. Stacey Spencer on IG says, I was thinking a second home to have passive income coming in. I think he doesn't want me to have extra, only what he gives. He's scared I'll leave him. I get a monthly allowance. Stacey Spencer, if you're a 70 year old man and you're kind of at the like last years of your life and you're dating a woman who's like in her 20s or 30s, you're taking your life seriously you're already afraid that you're going to die alone. There's nothing that... There's nothing that he can buy you that is going to take that fear away from him. And you need to have a conversation about it and say, Daddy, I'm here. I, I love my monthly allowance. And at the same time, you know... This is what I really actually want you to do next. I want you to build something for me and with me that is going to last long after you're gone. Talk to this man as if he is in his last years because he just might be. And he would appreciate you being real with him. Just, I mean, he's, he's, he's old. Age isn't a disease, but get real. Get real about, hey, I get that you're afraid of things changing. Who says the SBs can't be direct? Hi from California, said Brenda, little nag. The wild Darlia, I mean this in the best way. I love your delusional vibe. Even when people are clearly being rude, you keep the same demeanor. I love it. Yeah, I don't even, I don't even feel like anyone has been rude today. It's just, I, I don't feel like I'm rude. I'm like very direct. So I just assume people are being direct instead of rude with me. That's the art of projection. Del Vidette. Everyone seemed so weird on SA. I poked around a lot and got scared. M. Kovacs. Okay, when to move in with a man. Goddess, personally, I say never. Personally, I say live with someone who's your husband. Do not move in with them. The whole why buy the cow if you get the milk for free thing is absolutely true. See, Natty Morales, I guess at that age you won't want any BS. Exactly. I mean, Stacey Spencer, imagine if you have, imagine if you have a SB and you're, and she's ignoring the fact, like your behavior. Daddy, I noticed that you want to give me nice things, but you also want to control them. I noticed that your generosity comes with a little bit of control in it. And it's, and I, it's not, and I know nothing is a power move. We have a great bond. We've known each other seven years and I care about you and I care about how you're feeling in your life right now. And if you're afraid of setting me up, so that I could survive on my own without you, then here's the thing is when you leave, I am going to survive. I am going to survive, Daddy. You're 70. <clears throat> Brutal says, I second. No ring on your finger, no cohabitation. Yeah. Uh, personally, I wouldn't even do it if we were engaged. <clears throat> I wouldn't even do it if we were engaged. Just wait. Why half-ass it? I'm sorry. Being engaged is not being married. Let's stop calling stuff the same thing. <clears throat> B. Sam, I would personally only move in with the partner until I had a ring, a home vehicle, and my name, and a wedding date. Yeah, I mean, that's fiancé engagement vibes. 
And I was actually thinking, so Cooney is going to take us to um, Vegas on October 12th. And I'm going to have to have a conversation with him about getting me my own room. And I, int- I fully intend to say, um, you know, Daddy, like, I'm not staying in a room with a man who's not my husband. What do you think? I'd feel so much better having my own room. I'm, I'm a spacious person. <laughs> I need space and some things I'm really saving for marriage. I want to I wanna say that for my husband. Sorry. I don't know who he is. It could be you. It could be not. But I want to say that for my husband. M. Kovacs, at what point is it a good time to sleep with a man or a boyfriend? Marriage. That's what I'm doing. Cooney and I have been dating for four months. He's never even spent the night. And it's not going to happen. Lola Rose, you need space and privacy. Exactly. Sorry, I'm single until I'm married. I don't need someone around me constantly. I don't feel like that. I do not miss, uh, I don't really miss Cooney when we're apart. When you're really focused on your dreams, you hardly miss men, even if they're your game changer. When your dreams are literally too important to you and you're building something and you're helping women, you don't sit home and think about men all day. I mean, seriously. I mean, you should be able to forget he exists on any given Wednesday. Mario, Mimi, I wish I had the strength. Anyone can have the strength. It's a choice. M. Kovacs, have you gotten a lot of pushback from men about waiting until marriage? Not once. Not once. They all say, wow, I really respect that. (laughs) Stacey Spencer, I love Vegas. Stay at the Cosmopolitan. The rooms are amazing. Uh, Seven years ago, SA was perfect. Made plenty, but the men are so stingy now. I have heard that. Vino, how do you feel about becoming friends first? Megan, I don't, I got the book you recommended, Why Men Don't Love Women Like You Love. Goddess, this is the most gatekept book in all of history. Like even in my career as a dating coach, people get gatekept the heck out of this for me. Winter Autumn, at what stage of dating should I tell a man I want to wait until marriage? Not on the first, not on the first date for sure. No one should even be talking about um, intimacy for definitely not in the first month of dating you. And if he does, he's testing you. And when he's testing you with his first joke about physical intimacy, that's how you know he's testing you. (laughs) You must pass the test, goddess. Don't let them joke about intimate stuff in the first month of dating. (laughs) Um, Princess Juliet, where do you prefer to meet guys trying to rotation on date more? I like meeting them in person. I hated meeting men on apps. The way the three men that I dated last, I met them all at dance in Newport Beach. I met them all in person. I have not been on apps since like last December when I got, uh, <clears throat> blocked. That was crazy. So where do you prefer to meet guys? Yeah, in person. Look. There is no way that if you've actually started working on your feminine receptive energy and if you're smiling and making eye contact with men, there's no way that they're not going to come up with, kind of come up to you. If you're not getting approached by men, it's because you might have resting brat face and you don't make eye contact. I mean, tell me it's not true. There's just no reason. You're a desirable, friendly person. Unless all men really hate human connection and are not interested in the opposite gender. (sighs) Lena May, how do you correct a guy when he tests the waters with inappropriate jokes? Say, wow, joking about stuff like that already? I said, I feel kind of offended. I love laughing. And at the same time, it feels too early to joke about this topic. I mean... This is a topic for men and women and when they're wives. What do you think? Bijou E. Blocked on apps. Story time. Goddess. 
I don't want to get blocked on here too. I was permanently banned from Bumble in December. It's so weird that I got suspended from TikTok the other day for hate speech about a race, but on and, and on Bumble, I got permanently suspended and banned from the app for, for joking about a stereotype. That's funny. Ooh, here's a great question. M. Kovacs, how long to wait to kiss men? Goddess, I have the formula for this. I have the formula for this and it's like, it's at the point where it's so long that it's like completely ridiculous and it's a complete flex, but also it's not long enough so that he is getting um, intimately frustrated. Because men, their love language is always physical touch. How long to wait to kiss men? M. Kovacs. I say... I say on the fifth date. And that's if he's doing everything right and being a perfect gentleman. For every one time that he's not a perfect gentleman, I would add another um, date to that. So GG23245, why do you wear an engagement ring? You look awesome. Yes, I always wear an engagement and a wedding ring because this is the thing you have to believe and this is called the law of belief and the law of assumption and the law of attraction. They all reflect this truth. The law of belief. I wear a wedding ring as a single 27 year old because you don't become a wife one day. You're born as a wife. And I realized that. And why am I not treating myself as a wife if I'm actually already born as a wife? All the women that God wants to be married in their lifetimes, they're already wives. If you're going to be a wife in your lifetime, it's already true for you. M. Kovacs, when is it okay to introduce your family and friends to a boyfriend, meet his mother? meet his family and friends. I would say after the three months, after three months and only, I think this can be the one, one date before you decide to be monogamous. Because if you're gonna be monogamous with a man, you have to actually know what you're signing up for. So I would say meet the family before you agree to become monogamous. And with Cooney, I have a question. Before I ask, before we become official, I think I should ask to FaceTime his parents. Because they said that his parents have heard he's dating someone, but they have never been introduced to someone he's dating. I think before you become official, you should be introduced to the man's parents, if not in person, then on FaceTime. You have to know what you're signing up for. And in the negotiation, about should we become monogamous? Should we be boyfriend and girlfriend? Are we intentionally dating for marriage? Are we closing down our job search for other candidates? Are we accepting this offer with each other? Are we done interviewing other candidates? Is this the best offer? When you're negotiating, when you're negotiating before, when you're negotiating your commitment, you need to <coughs> say, what does that entail? How will commitment, how will making it official feel and be different than what it is right now? In what ways will it be different? If we're going to commit to each other and be official and become boyfriend or girlfriend, in exactly what ways is it going to be different than what we're doing now? How many vacations are we going to go on? Am I going to meet your family and when? How many vacations will we take a month? Will I be given gifts? Will I be given an, an allowance? Will my rent be paid? If my, if my rent is going to be paid and my expenses are going to be paid, am I going to rely on you uh, financially? If you're the one who's going to be worried about the money, what is your preferred method of communication when I need something? How would you like me to ask for it, Daddy? What feels better for you? What feels the best when I need something? When I need something, what feels the best for you in, as far as learning about it so that you can learn about my needs? M. Kovacs, so I make a lot of money and I love my career. 
Will men respect that and still provide for me? Absolutely. Um, your money is your money, and the man's money is also your money. That's how it, it, it's just true. Men don't respect women just because they work. So you can love your career and make a lot of money. But think about if you, okay, let's just do a little exercise so that we can really know this once and for all. Think about if you were a man. If you were a man and you were in a woman's life, who would you pick, rich or poor? Raise your hand. If I were a man with a lot of money, who would I choose, a woman who's rich or a woman who's poor? If I were a man, would I pick a woman who loves her job? Or doesn't have anything that she's passionate about? So the first question is, would a man rather be with a woman who's rich or poor, all things being equal? He'd rather be with a rich woman, right? Who wouldn't? Money makes your life easier. Money means freedom. Money is a self-care tool. Okay? Hey, IIE. So number two, would a, would a guy rather be with someone who loves her job or someone who has nothing that she's excited about? Yeah, of course. She, he would rather choose a woman who has something that she's excited about. So what's the alternative, goddess? <laughs> if a man is, if, now imagine that you're the man. You've picked a woman who is rich instead of poor, and you've picked a woman who loves what she does and is excited about it. Alexa, stop. <coughs> Wake up in my bed, just want to have a good day. Okay, now we can listen to my pump up song because that means Cooney's gonna be here in 10 minutes. I just wanna have a good day. Thinking in my head and it happens how it should be. Okay, so now you're a man. You're thinking as you're thinking as a man. You've picked a woman who's rich instead of poor. And you've picked a woman who loves her job instead of has nothing that is important to her, nothing that she's excited about, right? So let me see, hold on. Um, T-Rod Banks, so beautiful. Oh my God, that is so sweet. Um, B-Sam, goddess, do you have moderators? If not, I would love to be, I would love to <laughs> be one. I, I, e, I love your bright energy. Thank you, goddess. Okay, so imagine that you're a guy, okay? So you're picking a woman who's rich instead of poor, and you're picking a woman who is, um, she has something that she's excited about, and like, and she loves her job, Okay. So now, think about your man. So she's got her own money, and she has a life purpose or a job that she's excited about. Does this mean that you as a man don't want to pay for all her stuff just because she has the money? Do you think that rich husbands marry women saying, I want to provide for you because you don't have your own money? It's a fallacy. It's a fallacy in our thinking. Men don't want to provide for women because they don't have the money. They want to provide for women because it's part of them. Yeah. Okay, so we have three minutes. Ask me any questions that you have. This has been so fun. I love us. And I love this. I love this song, Just Like Magic by Ariana Grande. This was like my manifesting um, song in 2020. Like, I think of all albums in 2020, this is what, like, this was like the album to my 2020. So yeah, just keep that in mind. If you were a guy, does this mean that just because you're with a rich woman who loves her job that you don't want to provide anymore? No, you still want to provide. Because it's who you are. Kelsey Autumn, it was mine too. I love that song. Ooh, I got E. Here's a good question. What made you start to enjoy your singleness? Goddess, thinking about being pregnant with kids and having kids and having a husband. Oh, I would be so annoyed, Goddess. Put annoyed in the chat if you actually have a guy or kids to worry about. I am. I'm not going to say I love being alone. I don't feel alone. Just because you're single does not mean that you're alone. I think we should start stop using the A word. Um, 
<coughs> I mean, look, I have hope. <laughs> so anyways, just being single does not mean that you're alone. So I would stop saying that. There's nothing else that is going to feel as good as having, like, it's just different, right? You either live alone and you're on your own time, your own schedule. You do what you want. Honestly, if you've had a dog get sick, um, especially with like their bowel movements, if you've had a dog get sick and be completely dependent on you, you know how kind of annoying it is. Like in my case with Allie, like she was very unwell. I got, I got her as like a 12, 11, 10, 11, 12 year old dog. Who adopts a senior dog? I wasn't that bored, but it was God's plan. We were soulmates. Oh, so what I'm saying is, imagine having a pet. It's annoying. Imagine having a husband that's constantly poking you in the back for, and bidding for intimacy. It's annoying. Imagine having kids at all times. Right now, the only thing in the background of my life is like meditation or self-love affirmations or life coaches or my best friend on the phone. Imagine if I never had that sound of the, the <laughs> self-love affirmations and ocean waves at night, but instead I heard a baby crying. I mean, it's annoying. So that's one way to start loving your singleness is realize you will have completely taken this time in your life for granted once you have a man and kids constantly harassing you. I.I.E., how can I stop outsourcing validation? Gaden Fly on Instagram was like, OMG, being alone is a whole different type of relaxing. I completely agree. Honestly, long live the time. It's so funny because when you get into a relationship, you realize, wow, I have taken for granted my singleness. Be Sam, it was so kind of you to adopt a senior dog. Ugh. Lena May, is Cooney always on time to pick you up? Um, he's usually about five minutes late. Hey, Connor, I finally found a high-value man. I'm struggling to feel trust and feel secure. I need tips. Goddess, connect with yourself. Don't go toward the man. Go toward yourself. You have to feel secure. You have to feel worthy. I mean, all the evidence in the rest of the world is telling you that you're worthy of receiving and that you're... Look at Just look at the evidence. If you can't convince yourself that you're lovable, just look at the evidence. People are around you trying to do stuff for you, pay for you, alleviate stress from you, take care of you, make sure you're fed right. Lena May, does he come to the door or call you to come down? It, it actually locks. There's like three different locking areas from anybody trying to get to me into my apartment. So I actually have to kind of like meet him halfway almost. I hate that part, but it's more secure. Emma Kovacs, wait, but is it worth getting married? I read single women are the happiest demographic. One thing I will say is that plus size women are the most demographically married population. I totally believe in love. I totally believe in marriage. But it better be so much better than being single. That's what I'm saying. Vino Carmel. Yes, you should fall in love with yourself first so you can attract that love from a man. Uh, would you accept a coffee name? Cat Jewett. Are you in Cooney Official? Is he paying your rent? How was that conversation? Yes, he says that he's going to start paying on, on October 15th after a bunch of bonuses come in from work. Love everything about this live. Thank you. Haven't been on a date in three years and it's been wonderful. Melissa PNW76. I freaking believe it. Honestly, your singleness has an expiration date, but please enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> Gate and fly on Instagram. Being cheated on ruins that trust and security. Trying to rebuild that now. Yep. Learn to trust yourself again and the cheating thing likely won't happen again. I, uh, did you see my question? How do you source inner validation? Goddess, you have to literally convince yourself and it's in your self-talk. The transformation, the self-love, the feminine energy transformation, the body acceptance, the radical dating life, the spoiled girlfriend, it's in your self-talk. All right, I'm going to sign off so I can do a little pee break before he gets here with our food. Beloved daughter to all, I love myself a lot. I still want a relationship and no one has approached me. Goddess, God thinks that you have more to learn during your singleness right now. M. Kovacs, this live is definitely a safe space for women. Exactly. Of course it is. Oh, shit. 
he's here. I'm at the FOB entrance. How'd you get rid of your sinus infection? Ivana, I actually didn't. I'm still sick, but I've been taking these snacks. Okay, love you, goddesses. He's at the door. I love you. Talk to you soon. Instagram. Thank you, Casey, 4 a.m. I can't sleep. This live is everything. So difficult to find a good guy. I love you, goddesses. Thanks for the great chat. Feel better. Thank you. I love you. Talk to you soon. Love you. Thanks, goddess.